Let's look at another pro word problem with translations. It says, how many units must you shift the graph y equals 2 times the quantity x plus 1 squared minus 3 to get the graph y equals 2 times the quantity x minus 2 squared plus 4? Okay, now we've talked about vertexes. Vertexes work the same way with parabolas as they do absolute values. All you're trying to do is make a number here that would get this entire quantity 0. Now let's focus one at a time. Let's start with this one right here that I've boxed in red. Okay. Where's the vertex of this function? Well, you say negative 1 would make this entire thing 0. So I say, great. If we use negative 1, that would be our x. Our input would make it so that negative 3 is the output because all this becomes 0 and 0 minus 3 is negative 3. And so negative 1, negative 3 is right here. Now it doesn't really matter what the exact parabola looks like because it's being translated. And the definition of translation is it's the same picture that's just going to move to another location. Well, now let's focus on this. I've boxed it in green. I've said, where's the vertex of this? Okay, again, we're looking for a number that'll make this inside 0. Well, that's the number 2. If that's 0, this entire thing becomes 0. 0 plus 4 is 4, so our output is 4. So 2, 4 is right here. That's the vertex of the green graph. This word question is just really asking you, how do you get from this red dot to this green dot? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 up. From here, 1, 2, 3, 3 to the right, 3. That's the answer. That's all this is asking you to do. So if you see a problem like this, it's just basically a counting problem after you found the vertexes.